All right, continuing with triple integrals. If I were to ask you, what does the graph of x squared plus y squared equals four look like? I think I could fool many of you. Well, in two dimensions, you are right. If this would be a curve, then we certainly are looking at a circle with radius that is two units. But what if it was labeled as a surface? What if this was labeled as a surface? Well, when we first were introducing the graphs of surfaces in three dimensions, one of the categories was called cylinders. And there were some graphs called cylinders that we wondered why they didn't look like a cylinder in the geometric sense. But the concept of a cylinder was you would take a um, two-dimensional shape and then extend it forever into the third dimension. So the third dimension would be in the Z axis dimension. And it turns out that if this was labeled as a surface, or if they called it a cylinder, then we would know that this is actually the equation of a three-dimensional object. If it's called a curve, we would know that it is a two-dimensional object. So we're gonna look, look at the x squared plus y squared is four as a cylinder for this problem. And we're gonna look at a solid that is bounded by x squared plus y squared equals four, z equals zero, which would be again the xy plane. And z equals five, which would be a horizontal plane, five units above the xy plane. So an actual cylinder that could contain something. Now, if we were going to want to calculate its volume, I hope your first option in the real world would be to go to geometry. But what we're going to do is we're going to, again, look at the triple integration as something that we could um, evaluate and verify. And we're going to set up the triple integral to find the volume of this particular cylinder. Uh, let me just slide her up a little bit. Top view. Would be that circle of radius two. And when we go to play with this particular set of algebra, we would know that the x's go from negative two to positive two, and that the equation of this circle can be solved for y equals form plus or minus the square root of four minus x squared. And when I set up my triple integration for volume, two, three, dz, dy dx, x goes from negative two to positive two. Y goes from negative square root four minus x squared to positive square root four minus x squared. And finally, z, actually is given to us is from zero to five. Now, in this particular form, the integration is going to get into some uh, at least trigonometric substitution from Calc 2. 
if you want to evaluate it all the way through. But this would be fully set up, and remember what this is called, rectangular form. It's called rectangular form. Let's now convert it to cylindrical form. All right, so cylindrical form is where, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. the Z values will not change. And since they are constants, they're still gonna be evaluated from zero to five. But dy dx becomes r dr, d theta, that's our polar conversion of that double integral, and cylindrical coordinates are the x and y are converted to polar and z remains z. But now when we look at this visually, that circle tells us that theta is 0 to 2 pi and r is 0 to 2, both constants in the world of circles. 0 to 2 pi, 0 to 2, and so that would be theta, and that would be r, and that would be z. And I strongly encourage you to evaluate this and compare to volume equals the area of the circle times the height. And just to make certain that those formulas do agree. Now, let's do one more aspect of this particular problem. So I'm going to maybe put it right here. I think we could make this work. All right, triple integral. What if I were to change only the first part of this triple integral? What if I were to change the theta boundaries only? What if I were to do that? Okay, my apologies there. What would have changed in our three-dimensional object? Ix, z, and the radius of the circle is still two, and the boundaries are from zero to five in the z direction. So what does it mean if we only have th theta goes from zero to pi over two? Now some of you, the three-dimensional aspect of this isn't bothering you too much, but if you're wired like me, I strongly encourage you to reconsider the top view. The circle we had with radius two, if our boundaries for theta are only zero to pi over two, we are only looking at this part of the circle, if we we're looking at from above, that would be equivalent to this portion of our cylinder. Not the best possible 3D rendering, but I hope it helps your imagination a little bit. All right. We keep plugging away, moving our way forward. That's the end of this example.